Um, it's my great pleasure now to introduce our guest speaker. Sheila Favell is a graduate, a twice graduate of Brighton Business School with both an MA and M MB, an MBA. Sheila is the Chief Operating Officer and an Executive Board Director of FDM Group. And over 26 years, she has experience of both public and private IT sectors globally, and is currently advising the present government. So I am delighted to uh, ask Sheila to address us. Chair, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, parents, friends, graduates, and people you met on Tinder this morning. As a fellow graduate of this university, I'm really thrilled to be here today to share in this wonderful occasion celebrating your success. Now, when I got a call a few months ago inviting me along today to speak, I decided there and then to prepare with the same intensity as many of you have devoted to an important term hand in. So late last night, I began. I drank two cans of Red Bull, ordered a Domino's, watched two replay episodes of Love Island, and then around midnight, I turned on my laptop. I believe that a good graduation speech should be like a good mini dress. Short enough to keep your attention, but long enough to cover the subject matter. <laughs> so I'm going to be brief. I won't be giving you deep, profound advice like reach for the skies or waste your time on empty sounding cliches. But if I could give my 21 year old self some advice, I would probably say take as many bikini photos as you can because when you, <laughs> your body will never be the same again after childbirth. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, when I was sitting where you are a number of years ago, I never thought for one minute, along with my partners and fantastic staff, we would build a £1 billion tech company. With over 4,000 employees worldwide and, recently, a zero-gender zero pay gap. So I'm going to talk to you about three things. <laughs> So I'm going to talk to you about three things. Number one, what are the things that got me to where I am today? Number two, will your, real, will your years at Brighton really help you in the real world? And number three, what the heck are you going to do now? So number one, work hard and please put away your phones every now and again, once in a while. And as you embark on this challenging and exciting journey, of being sober during the day, it's going to be interesting, if not unique. <laughs> Today you're here because you committed to a dream and you worked really hard to achieve it. So work hard, be kind, and amazing things will happen. They already have. Whatever you think your dream is now, it'll probably change, but that's okay. Your path at 22 will not necessarily be your path at 32. Now, I was born in 1956, and that's the same year that Play-Doh was invented. And my mother said to me when I was a really young girl, she said, Sheila, your life is like Play-Doh. It's full of color, and you can shape it and reshape it any way you want. So I decided then to live my life by the Play-Doh principle, and by God, I've reshaped it a number of times over the 45 years that I've been in the workplace. Reinvention is the mother of necessity, and it's really important that you, as future business leaders, remember this. In business as in life, we face adversity, failure, and disappointment. You haven't because you're here today because you've passed. Failure is just an opportunity to learn what not to do again. And disappointment will come, and through disappointment will come clarity, and through clarity will come conviction and originality. So number two, gaining your degree will help you in more ways than you could ever imagine. 
as well as keeping your parents off your backs, of course. Degrees may not be essential for success, but they're surely going to make it easier and they will help your employability. But your university experience, experience is not all about academic achievement. It's as much about learning about yourself, your resilience, your determination, discipline, and self-motivation. So number three, what are you going to do now? And I can hear those words rolling off the tongues of all the mums and dads who are here today. Lead by example. As graduates, you're entering the world with an important role to play. People will look up to you, they'll listen to you, and they'll want your thoughts and your ideas. You are the future, not just the future of the UK workforce, but the future of the international workforce. And right now, businesses are facing many, many issues, not least from the gender pay gap, to changing working models, to Brexit, and so on and so on. And never has there been a greater need than now for fresh minds with an optimistic outlook. So I'm asking you, the graduates of 2018, what are you going to do now in your life that is big enough, bold enough, and inspirational enough? What are you going to do to make your parents continue to be as proud of you as they are right now? Create your own business, lead by example, always do the right thing. Inspire the lives of others, and never, never give up on your dreams or compromise them. Stay focused and weather the storms that will surely be coming your way. So, as we toast your success today, treasure this moment, reflect on your experiences, and enjoy the fact that your hard work has paid off. Each of you has your own exciting journey ahead, so please make the most of it and set a really good example for the generation that's following you in your footsteps. So congratulations to each and every one of you, class of 2018, and Chair, Vice-Chancellor, thank you for inviting me to speak. <laughs>